success and failure in life. Shefeng, the misconceived notions of life that have been passed down for thousands of years need to be corrected. Traditionally, it is believed that a person who has made a fortune, held a high office, um, gained fame and brought honor to their ancestors, and who is envied by those around them, is living a successful life. The philosophy of life Chanyuan, however, considers a person who lives a life of health, safety, smoothness, and satisfaction, and who is always happy, joyful, free, and blessed as having a successful life. We used to think that happiness, joy, freedom, and bliss in lists in life must be predicated on certain conditions, primarily having money, owning property, and having a substantial material foundation. Additionally, one must stand out among peers and be admired and envied by others. How can all this be achieved? Confucianism suggests that golden houses and beautiful ladies are found in books, and to become a superior person, one must study hard, believing that only through good education can one become famous and hold office. Only then can one earn money and wealth. Even a righteous official could accumulate 100,000 tails of silver in three years. If one were even slightly corrupt, the earnings could exceed that amount, granting one the power to command wind and rain, to have beauty at one side, and to enjoy boundless glory. But is this truly a successful life? And how many people can experience such glory? When thousands vie for a narrow bridge, how many can successfully cross? How many fall, suffer injuries, or even drown? Even if all manage to squeeze through, they find themselves aged and infirm in middle and old age. The joyful childhood is drowned out by studies, the beautiful youth devoured by books, and the blissful days of youth spent struggling in academia. Is this a successful life? I see it as a tragedy and a failure in life. Is it worth struggling and striving for most of one's life just for money, power, fame, profit, and pleasure, only to lose one's childhood, youth, and young adulthood? More tragically, the vast majority struggle and strive without achieving their ideal wealth, power, fame, profit, and pleasure by middle age or even old age. Isn't this the failure of life? Therefore, the traditional concepts of successful and failed lives are erroneous and must be corrected, or the tragedy of life will continue. So how should one walk the path of life to achieve a successful life? Spend childhood in constant joy, youth in play and interests, young adulthood in dreams and ideals, middle age in diligent work, and old age in leisurely nourishment. To reach the end of life without regrets, resentments, or remorse, to be fully content and die with a smile, such a life is ideal and successful because it aligns with the way of the greatest creator. Is this achievable? Undoubtedly. Where is the path? Answer, it lies within the second home created by Life Chanyuan. June 20th, 2013, 